guys as we step into the living room I just kept my same throw um, it's very wintry and you know it's really nice I put these sea foam well, they're not sea foam they're like a coral green soft green corduroy uh, pillow covers on well these are some other pillows that have pillow covers on them and I just think it adds a really nice soft touch to the olive green and up here on my shelf home sweet home I put over here and that is what's on top of that shelf and as we go down Everything looks the same. I just added a little succulent. Here's our fish. We have a brand new guy. Oh, hello. Hello. I don't know where my where my husband's little guy is. There he is. Say hi. Say hi. What do you do do? What are you guys doing? I'm mad. Okay. So down here under the fish tank i put a little love sign here got these a dollar tree guys a dollar tree and let's see and so that's what i did down there I just added that. See, it's just little small little touches that make a difference, right? And if you see a different curtain, there is a different curtain. These are beautiful coral green curtains to go with my pillows. And I just have my gray carpet down there. Over here, I got this at um, Walmart. It's always better when we're together. It's like a mint green. And up here. That's what's on that shelf. Okay. Same picture. Over here, I have to put a little candle in there. It's my little swan. And yeah. Okay, and over here in the love seat, I have the same coral green pillows. I added some dark brown, like faux leather. A lot of texture, guys and hi and then that's what's above and you guys have seen this before i actually made this that's a little owl my hubby got me from dollar general this um awesome stick he picked up somewhere by a river and bless this nest and you know when i was putting this together because I, I wanted to have a bird we can't have a bird so i know very whimsical so when I put this together, I didn't realize, my husband pointed it out, bless this nest. And I didn't realize, oh yeah, we have a bird up there, bless this nest. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I thought that was funny. So we just have these coral green curtains up. And I have them straight down instead of tied back for the winter because it keeps the draft out. And then over here, I added some boho beads, flameless candle and my lantern. So I switch things up a little bit, make things a little more softer. And down here, I add is from my brother. It says when, I can't read that. When life makes it hard, pray, something like that. I love that. He got that for me years ago when I really need it to hear that. And then that's on the other shelf in the bottom. Then over here, let me turn on this light. Then over here, that's for my daughter. And then down here, I have a home and some pine cones. That's under the other fish tank. This one's not on right now, so I apologize. So this is the living room. And as you can see, it looks a lot softer by adding those softer colors with some darker colors. So that that's a tip. Um, if you guys have dark furniture, liven it up with some lighter fabrics and textiles and, and you'll really enjoy that. Okay, as we go into the dining room, <clears throat> 
which is my studio. <laughs> um, we're going to start with the hutch. I took this whole thing apart and cleaned it. And it's so old that this um, glass was spotted. Oh, my gosh. So let me zoom this out. There you go. I just put a little bird over there. My hus hubby got that from Dollar General. And just to add some color, my angels are still the same. My mom got me this, and I just changed the flowers out because I didn't like the hot pink. This is a willow tree angel I got from a thrift store. I love this vintage clock. I love birds. They're just my little birds. These are from Dollar Tree. So that is the hutch. And then what I did up here differently is I added some little birds. I cleaned this all up. You know, that's another tip. You know, if you have it, you know, if your you know, if your house just feels like it just needs something, something, clean some flowers, you know, you know, just organize differently, put things up differently. That's what I did. And it's just made a huge difference in this room because these were so dirty. <laughs> And this hutch has been with us since since we've been married. And it's not a set, but it goes together. So, yeah, anyway. All right. So as we come more in, I'm going to show you the table. The table is just more elegant now, guys. My mom got me this years ago, and I had it on my other table. And that's another tip. You know, you don't have to keep things looking the same way. You can switch things up through the room. That's what I did. So I did clean this up, and it's just a really nice planter. Of course, it's faux fur. I mean, uh, faux plant. Um, and this is just the runner I put down. I polished my table. I actually rewashed these. They have cat hair all over them. Not that I'm uh, opposed to cats, but we don't have a cat anymore. So I wanted to get all the cat hair out of the house. And... That's what I did on there. Look at how nice and pretty and simple that looks. And this can go all the way to uh, fall, spring, winter, summer, right? All seasons. Then over here, I just have my little stool still, my Rave Dream Pillow. I just kept the curtains up. Um, over here, um, of where you guys see me sitting on the desk, what I did here, this is Faith, Hope, and Love. This is a really cute little um, picture frame that I got from Dollar Tree, and I added a little bird. I got that from Bob Evans, I believe. A candle and a bowl of fruit I got at a thrift store. Over here, I made these flowers. I picked them up at Dollar Tree. I put some twine around a little candle holder, added a little bunny. So that's why I said there could be some spring mixed in and winter and all seasons, right? It doesn't matter. I don't know if I'm going to keep um, changing out my flowers. I usually do for spring and fall, fall I'm going to do but and, and Christmas. But I think for winter and spring, I think I'm just going to, with summer, I, I think everything's just going to stay the same because it's a lot of work. <laughs> Up here, I, I did get rid of some things i wanted it more like simple looking so that's my rabbit our love shack i just added some grapes that's my basin and my pitcher and then what i did down here this is an angel i got at dollar tree that reminds me of beauty and the beast <laughs> um i got that at Walmart and then this is just a plant that I had the full fur and I just put some um, seagrass in the bottom of it so it holds it up more and I got that tin I think at Dollar General and down here just have it like that and up here look what I did differently guys remember this used to be I used to always have this on my dining room table well I wanted something different this year so what I did is I brought this over to my bookshelf let me um come out a little bit so you guys could see it better okay if you guys know me I love cherry blossoms to make a long story short when I was a little girl I had a big tree outside 
my bedroom window and every spring it would look beautiful with Jer New Jersey cherry blossoms on it and I could not wait for spring to come. So my hubby knew that and for one year of our anniversary he bought me a bunch of cherry blossoms at Walmart and I did cut them up for them to fit better and yeah so we got this at thrift store. We got this little frog he's just hanging out. As for me and my house we will serve the Lord. <laughs> I got this at a thrift store. So that's what I did on that. I love to decorate. And that's a mirror on top. Hi. And over here, I, I have two chairs. And I have said this before, my hubby films with me in here. So we do keep two. And sometimes when we eat in here. Um, so I just put some decorative boxes with the with my radio. Then I still have in the entrance way, I still have my grapes, but over here, I did something different in this little corner. I added another little bird my hubby got me from um, Dollar General. This is a cherry blossom or a bonsai um, planter thing that he got me, and I just put it in my... Uh, farmer's market and this might be a little too close there you go and then this is another plant that I got from Dollar General and I just put it in another metal tin you see how I just work that in together I think that looks so cute this is my favorite room that I did and another tip is when you're decorating, take some colors from each room and bring them out through the other rooms. So I have like a lot of soft greens in here and, you know, browns and a lot of greens. So that goes right into the living room. And look at how pretty this looks. See, I've always wanted a screen porch. That's my screen porch. Hmm. Okay, anyway. So over here, what I did is we hung a Dollar Tree mirror. And then down here is a butterfly that I got from Dollar Tree. Look at how pretty that looks over there. And then I have my long lamp and my beautiful picture for my mom and mommy, mother-in-law. Okay, and this is what I did up here on this shelf. So everything is the same, but I added these really nice twig, I mean, not twigs, um, I, I don't know what you would call them, like stems or something I got from Dollar Tree. Let me bring this out. So what I did over here is I just added these um, stems from Dollar Tree. And then I added this little, um, I don't know, it's like a little plant, faux, faux plant wrapped up from Dollar General. And then this, remember, this was in my plate holder on the other side on my baker's rack. So I, my husband was able to hang it. I was so happy. Remember, this was on the other bookshelf. So I just moved it over here. And look at how beautiful they look. I cleaned every single leaf, every, every single one. And then what I did differently is I added a little elegant candle and another angel. Because angels, you know, they're not just for Christmas, guys. You know, we have, a, we have a guardian angel with us, and angels are with us all the time. And when you're, make Jesus Lord and Savior of your life, you have a lot of angels with you. Okay. So that's what I did. That's what I did differently. Over here, on this shelf, it's a floating shelf. I just added some sprigs, like some greeny sprigs <laughs> from Dollar General Dollar Tree. That's from Dollar General. Then down here, remember this this was hanging. I mean, this was in my um uh plate holder on my baker's rack, and I just hung it there. Remember, these were on the other bookshelf. That's what I did differently over here. So that's my dog tapping. <laughs> so yeah, so what do you guys think about this? And that's what I'm thinking. Um, for 
spring. I'm not sure. I, I do have a couple pieces I'm going to add. And I think that's what I'm going to do for now on because <clears throat> I love to decorate. So I'm just going to switch things up as I go, you know, like if I find something or think, oh, hey, that will look good in there, you know, because right now, if you look in this room, I have some winter floral and then I have like some spring, <laughs> Then you know what I mean, so it doesn't matter, and and you know, you you just do you, you do what you enjoy. But so yeah, so this is what I did differently. Then we're gonna come into the kitchen, and what I did in the kitchen—that's my water—is I just added a little bird, some grapes, a pine cone in that corner, and then there's my rooster. And up here, I'm pretty sure you guys saw this. I didn't do anything differently. I love all my farm animals. And then over here, I made another arrangement in a, a little beautiful candle holder with some twine wrapped around it. And that is bringing it in through the dining room. And that's it. That's what I did. I didn't do anything different. Um in the kitchen as much. I just added a floral arrangement and a birdie. But so I hope you guys enjoy videos like this. I was excited to bring this to you guys and to film this and to show you guys what I did differently. And this is my outdoor space. I love when it has my cherry blossoms and stuff on it. But my husband wanted to plant a cherry blossom tree for me, but that would take 25 years to grow. Isn't he sweet? So that's my outdoors. So pretty. So I do have some other videos. I just did the CC Feline one. That one is in the editing process. That will be up soon. And I also have what I got for Christmas. And then this one. And I have some other ones coming your way too. But if you love decorating videos and decorating ideas, organization tips, uh, fashion, lifestyle, and beauty, and you want to hear more about my faith, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join me on my journey here on YouTube of where God is bringing me and, and taking me with this channel. And I love each and every one of you guys. If you have any special prayer requests, please leave them down in the comments down below. Oh, I forgot to show you what I did up here. I found this little bird. So my husband put him there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Ah, you gotta love him. So, so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me today and give me a like and hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a single video that I post. And if you want to see more like this, let me know. All right, guys. And if you haven't seen my bedroom winter tour, I'm going to have that in a playlist under decorating videos and you guys can go and check that one out because that one's been up already. All right. Bye.